Hi guys, I have very, very rare beauty for you here. Uh, this is a Ken Smith burner uh, made in Japan. Now you might look at this and think that this looks like a Ken Smith design base, which uh, it's not. This is a about 20 years old, maybe more. It was made in Japan by Hajime Hirose on behalf of Ken Smith. Uh, now back then, Ken Smith was uh, introducing a line of bases for the US market that were cheaper than his boutique builds. Uh, more affordable but had the same playability uh, and he released them under the Ken Smith burner um, label, which uh, this is. This is this is one of those uh, genuine bona fide 1992 or 93 um, Ken Smith burner made in Japan. Uh, construction of this is two piece ash. It's got a nice thin body. It's lightweight, very comfortable. Bands as well. Uh, it has a, an Indian rosewood fingerboard, um, and it has hard maple three piece neck. Um, which has a nice low profile, makes it very easy to play. Um, and it has that real um, lovely boutique bass sound to it as well, which uh, is that kind of creaminess. It sounds just like it's more expensive cousin so uh, it doesn't have as much tonal variety as as those do however um, it has enough it has enough to satisfy a seasoned professional um, what you got here basically is your pickup balancer uh, main volume got your treble mid and treble and your bass and boost and cut. Both of these are notched. Uh, everything is notched actually except the bottom <coughs> so that it makes it easy for you to know when, when you're balanced and when you're not. So that's a, <coughs> that's a very good feature. Anyway let's listen to how it sounds. <coughs> I have a loop here I'm just gonna play I'm just gonna play with everything uh, balance set in the middle and this is the tone we get <laughs>
style the rear pickup and boost the bass. especially suited to fusion um, and funk and jazz. Sounds wicked for walking bass lines. Very nice. Um, Everything up the neck is just even, even response and everything, despite the age of this thing, um, it's rugged, it's stood the, test, stood the test of time very, very well, um, and uh, it's a rare instrument, they don't build these anymore, um, 
so anyway, this is a, a lucky find, and uh, I have it up on eBay as well now if anyone is interested. I'll be looking out for some more of these, but uh, they're very hard to come by. Like I said, they're not made anymore. They're discontinued. Maybe 12, 13 years ago, they're discontinued um, by Ken Smith. So again, it's a Ken Smith burner around 1992 or 93. Um, it is not a Ken Smith design base. It is a Ken Smith burner made in Japan. Um, construction is two-piece ash, three-piece maple bod uh, neck, and uh, you've got a rosewood fretboard, 24 frets, beautiful fretboard, 34-inch uh, scale, uh, very even response. <laughs> way up it's really good comfortable to play and um, sonically it has it has that Ken Smith sound uh, and the reason for that I think is because of his custom shop pickups uh, the base was built in Japan with woods that were sent over by Ken Smith um, it was then fashioned crafted in Japan uh, sent back to the United States where Ken Smith installed the circuitry at his workshops so that's the the production um, story behind this base and um, like I said back then it was a base that was kind of mid-range Ken Smith um, it was built for serious professionals who don't want to spend you know Four thousand or five thousand dollars that the uh, the regular Ken Smiths were demanding, and uh, these came in at around two thousand dollar mark, roughly back then. Um, and this one is in uh, it's in relatively fair condition considering it's vintage. A few scratches and dings on the body. The neck's in very good shape. Frets frets are about eighty percent there. Um, a bit of wear further up the neck on the frets, but uh, yeah, it's good. This one has modification. It has the uh, ramps installed just for comfort. Um, they are rosewood ramps, quite handsome looking. Um, it's very nice, very nice instrument. Um, I'm not in a particular hurry to sell it, but if anyone is interested, it's there on eBay um, and it's available.